So this question looks like a simplify question, right? So simplify questions are typically short. They're one, between one and three lines long, and they will contain either an expression or an equation. In this case, we have an absolute value equation, which I will write down here. So absolute value, 2x plus 1 equals 5. And again, I typically don't even read the question first. I mean, this is just a habit that I have. You could definitely read the question first. But when I see this, this format, right, short question plus equation or, or um, expression, I just go straight to that equation or expression and simplify directly from there. So the way that we solve absolute value equations is that we split them into two separate equations without the absolute value sign. And the answer will stay the same for the first one, but will be the negative, right, for the second one. So when I solve this first side, I get 2x equals 4, and therefore, 2, I'm sorry, x is equal to 2. So that's one possibility. And on this side, I'm getting 2x equals negative 6, divide by 2, and I get x is equal to negative 3. Okay, so let's look at the question now. So the question says, if A and B are the solutions to the equation above, okay, so like A equals 2 and B equals negative 3, or it could be the other way around, we don't, I don't know. Um, so if A and B are the solutions to the equation above, what is the value of the absolute value of A minus B? Well, let's see. So based upon the solutions that I got from simplifying, right, the equation, the absolute value equation, then my absolute value of a minus b would be the absolute value of 2 minus negative 3, which is 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. So that would be my answer there. Now, even if, if I were to say, well, hmm, how do I know that a is 2 and b is negative 3? What if it, instead it was a was negative 3 and b was 2? Would that change anything? Well, let's see, I'm going to take these values up here where I have some more space. So if I were to, again, do a minus b here inside of absolute value, now I'd have the absolute value of negative 3 minus b, which is 2. And we would see that that is the absolute value of negative 5, which is positive 5. So either way, the answer is still 5. So that is the correct answer for this question.